Hi there. Uh, I'm going to be doing a test, uh, some test videos for you today uh, of different masks uh, that we're going to test out to possibly use with our upcoming musical. What um, I'm trying today, so I have a B3 uh, element, uh, Countryman B3 element here that I'm using as a lav uh, on my lapel right here. And of course, you run into all the issues of hearing, all things like that. Um, now, I am running this through, uh, you know, a, a Sennheiser wireless. Uh, uh, this is a, uh, the EW100 G2 series. Um, so this is an older series. Uh, actually, the instrumental one uh, is what this one is made for. But uh, we use them all the time with the wireless mics. And I had this at home, so I'm able to test this out and send it to our sound designer. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, this test will suffice in giving them the information that we need. Uh, so I have two masks that I'm going through here, and right now everything is set flat. Uh, EQ with no additional processing on it. Uh, I am set at negative 20 uh, on the sensitivity on my wireless pack, and I actually have an uh, audio frequency out um, of negative 6 off of the uh, receiver. The two masks we're going to be working with today, one is the voice mask, um, and that is this one here. And uh, the second one I'll be dealing with is the Resonance uh, Singer's Mask here. And uh, so now you've got a little bit of a taste of what my voice sounds like with just my voice uh, through the non-processed uh, regular B3 without a mask. Uh, and I'm going to do some tests momentarily, so stay tuned. Hi there, we're back. Uh, this is the voice mask that I'm going to be uh, testing out today. I have to do this without my glasses uh, on uh, just because of uh, fog and changing things around so often. So this again has the microphone here at uh, my chest and I'm just talking with a mask. Uh, and I'm going to try to compare the difference in sound between talking with the mask. This is the voice mask and talking without it. This is without it compared to what I, we just heard a second ago with me listening, uh, talking with it on. Um, so if we did a sibilance, 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 sibilance. So we do hear uh, some frequencies being cut off. It is a little bit of a different sound, uh, but surprisingly, uh, um, I'm actually impressed with how little change uh, there really is. Obviously, we lose a little bit of the crispness, um, and uh, for the record, actually, this is has the crisp uh, cap on it. Um, I don't think it's very crisp. I think it's the regular crisp. Um, I can't actually verify that at this very second, um, but that might be information that we can get for you for later. Uh, so this is again with the mask on, and one more time with the mask off, again at the lapel level, uh, chest level, which is probably not where we're going to end up using it, uh, but just for testing purposes and singing. Um, I just listened to the song, it's stuck in my head. I want to break free. 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 So those are your comparisons there. Um, Hi, I'm back. So this one is the resonator mask. And I will start by saying that this one is much more of a pain. Uh, this has a filter. Uh, it comes with three filters. Uh, I just put one in. Um, it's actually quite a pain to, to put it in there. Uh, the way the flaps are. I ended up actually tucking it in the two end flaps and uh, not tucking it into the center, but leaving the center just open in there. Um, this one also, the uh, although it loops over your ears, uh, it the top two go together on this one, and they go behind your, your head to tie off, and the bottom two uh, go together and tie off um, behind the head too. These are not just simply uh, looped around my ears. I just wanted to point that out. These are a little different in design and how they work. Uh, so this is the Resonance Singer's Mask. And we can hear the difference between just talking through this here now and then taking this off and, and hearing this. So we are getting a little more of the, uh, obviously the crispness uh, we lose when we put the mask on. Uh, I feel like this Resonator Mask lets more of the fullness actually f show through. So if we come back here and continue our conversation and talking, 
um, I do feel like I get um, uh, almost like a proximity effect. Like I feel like I get a little bit more of the lower frequencies uh, because it is blocking off the higher ones, but uh, the intelligence, uh, intelligibility of the listening, I feel is still there with this one. Uh, singing wise, I want to break free. 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 Um, so that this is the resonance singer's mask. Uh, so now I'm going to go. I'm actually going to move the the mic up to my forehead, and we're going to see uh, what differences uh, that makes from there. Stand by. Okay, hi, we're back. Uh, this is now the resonator singer's mask uh, from the top of the forehead, uh, facing down on my face. Uh, I'm gonna do a little singing, and then I'm gonna take the mask off, and I'll sing the same phrase again. Give me one good reason why I should never make a change. Um. Baby, when you hold me, then all of this will go away. Yeah, yeah. Give me one good reason why I should never make a change. Um. Baby, when you hold me, then all of this will go away. Um. Give me one good reason why I should never make a change. Um, baby, if you hold me, then all of this will go away. Ha, 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 make a change. Ha, make a change. So I'm, I'm purposefully trying to do the two different, you know, head voice and uh, and chest voice to compare the differences here. Uh, all right, I'm going to switch to the uh, voice mask. Okay, I'm back, and this is the voice mask uh, that we're listening to right now. Uh, it's again speaking a little bit uh, with now the microphone up top here, and uh, for simplicity, I, I still have the other one, uh, but not on the face. It's just underneath the chin here. Uh, I'm going to do a little singing. Give me one good reason why I should never make a change. Um, baby, if you hold me, then all of this will go away. While I will never make a change. While I will never make a change. Well, I will never make a change. Well, I will never make a change. Uh, and that's the voice mask, uh, just to give you the comparisons. I will tell you that um, comfortability of singing, the residence mask uh, does leave me a little more room to uh, move my mouth around. I do have plenty of room here, but I can feel as I open my mouth wide, I feel the pressure from the bottom and the top on uh, my jaw. Uh, I'm going to go back to the residence mask for one second. Okay, I'm back to the residence mask again, and yes, to confirm what I just uh, said earlier, uh, that is correct. I have much, um, excuse me, uh, I have more room in my face uh, to actually move my mouth around and move. Uh, so I'm going to try one more thing, and I honestly, we're going to find out, I don't think it's going to work in the voice mask. Uh, but I think it will work in the resonator, resonance mask. Uh, I'm going to try and put the mic inside of it. So stand by. And uh, actually, before I get that far, uh, I wanted to show the inside of uh, these two masks. This is the resonator mask. So this, you actually see, I put the filter in there, and this is a removable filter um, that it comes with three of them. Uh, and you can see the blue side uh, on that there. So when it's... Uh, opened up. It's just that's the center and I tucked it into the side flaps there But you can see as this you know holds the top and bottom what it does is it leaves all the room in the middle for your mouth to actually be able to move Whereas with the voice mask, I know this is all black, so it's hard to see uh, but with it being over your ears um, There isn't a lot of room in here for your jaw to move 
all right, I'm going to put this microphone in here, and then we'll see what it sounds like. Stand by. Hi, I'm back. Obviously, I'm a little bit louder than before. I'm actually talking really quietly right now because I just want to demonstrate that what this does when you put it um, inside the mask. Um, first off, I mean, at the same levels and everything we started with before, you can obviously hear, uh, you know, my beard scratching the inside of the mask. You can hear my lip smacks a lot more. You hear a lot more of the, the plosives. Uh, you can hear me breathing, uh, so a deep breath like that you're going to hear. Um, but now also what I'm going to do is simply switch um, my sensitivity uh, quickly to... Uh, uh, wrong, wrong way. Uh, now I'm at negative 30. So I went from negative 20 to negative 30 on the sensitivity, and that seems to have um, uh, you know, brought me back down to a, a reasonable listening range. Um, I'm not sure... Uh, what this is, but let's find out. And um, you know, and this is all I did here is I took the the element, I did like a little strain relief loop on it, so it's it sticks it out a little bit, and it's just tucked in the side uh, pocket with the filter on the off side of the filter, and then I have it just come out the center. Um, so right now, that microphone is roughly. Uh, over here somewhere um, but it is right in front of my uh, the face so it's not touching the mask at all um, I don't know if there's a better way to do this but um, I'm gonna do it I, I don't think this is the best solution necessarily but uh, give me one good reason why I should never make a change um. Baby, if you hold me, then all of this will go away. Um, and I can't really give you a comparative, uh, you know, with the mask off because the mic's in the mask. Uh, so, um, so it's not terrible, but I don't know if that's the best uh, solution for what we've got. But those are the three options, you know, here, here, and inside the mask. Um, I'm going to be honest and say I, I don't actually think inside the mask is going to work at all with the uh, with the singer's mask, or sorry, with the voice mask. Sorry, voice mask. Uh, not going to work with the mic inside of it. Uh, the resonance mask is what I have on right now, and um, it's it, it sounds like it could work. Uh, I'll leave that up to the uh, the creative team to decide. I'm not sure how well you can actually hear me right now. Um, because I just turned the sensitivity down. Uh, but I did want to show you just how I have the microphone inside. Uh, and this is just a quick attempt. But that's that. I hope you could see that. And that should conclude our testing for this evening. Uh, again, the two we tested tonight was the uh, Resonators, Resonance Singer's Mask, uh, which I think is the way to go. It's also uh, just in terms of uh, durability and strength and uh, how it was constructed. Uh, this is a much better uh, mask than the, um, the voice mask. Um, but, uh, you know, it's also, you know, if you have to incorporate visuals and uh, what it looks like, um, this is the voice mask is a little less obtrusive, um, and uh, the resonator mask is a little bit bigger, uh, more prominent. Uh, but I actually feel it does uh, a much better job uh, of uh, not diminishing the original sound. So I hope that helps. Uh, until next time, peace. <laughs>